Revenge Films. My brother and his wife wanted to have children, but they could not have children, so they went to the hospital and found out that my brother had a zoospermia. My brother and his wife divorced after a discussion, and three years later, my brother remarried a single mother, Ms. A, with whom she had two sons. Her ex-husband had died. My brother was overjoyed with his long-awaited children. The kids were five and ten years old at the time of his remarriage, and now the younger one is a college student. However, late last year, Ms. A asked my brother for a divorce. My brother was surprised and was totally opposed to the divorce. But Ms. A did not change her mind, so they had a discussion at our house, including my parents and me. The reason she wanted divorce was, You have been a father to my sons, and that is, uh, I'm very grateful. But you didn't become my husband, and my younger son will soon be independent. There's no reason for us to be a father and mother. According to Ms. A, quote, he listens to his children's stories eagerly, but he never listens to mine. When I ask him to have dinner with me once in a while, he says, what are you talking about? Is it so bad that I want to go out with him once a year? He can't take time off for us as a couple. When I invited my husband to a movie that I thought he'd be interested in, he ignored me. But if the kids wanted to see the same movie, then yes. He said, let's go out with the three of us. My brother's response to this was, I don't care about what you're talking about, because it's a bunch of crap that doesn't matter. We have children, so it's natural that we'd rather be a father and a mother than being a couple. Children are children no matter how old they are. And the movie was not something that you would be interested in, so I invited the kids. I thought it would be better if I did so. Even though Ms. A invited him to the movie first, you don't remember because you're not really interested. No, I don't think so. At first, he argued with her in a calm manner, but as we talked, he started to get excited. I fed you and your two kids, and I had physical relationships with you too, you ungrateful son of a bitch! And she was shifted to a supercilious way of speaking. By the way, Ms. A works full time, so she's not in a position to say that she's provided for them. He loves his children and has adopted them, so my brother is responsible for their upbringing. Ms. A is not angry, but remains calm and undefected and said, If you're that unhappy with me, maybe we should get a divorce. You don't need me. We, as a family, have been listening to what they have to say. But from what we have heard, it seems that my brother doesn't love Ms. A, and that's why she's going to ask for a divorce. I thought that maybe he still loves his ex-wife. Sometimes he seems like he is comparing them, and he talks about his ex-wife when he's with me. The divorce was caused by his illness, not by either of them changing their minds or having an affair, so my brother might have married Ms. A while he still had feelings for his ex-wife. I felt sorry for Ms. A as a woman, that he had been with her still missing his ex-wife. My brother gained children who were never born between him and his ex-wife, while still having feelings for his ex-wife. What a tragic story. After hearing my brother and Ms. A's story, my mother called my two nephews after they left to talk to them. The nephews had been talking to Ms. A about the divorce for some time. My mother thought that Ms. A might be exaggerating, but the nephews fully agreed with Ms. A's story. The nephews' opinions about the divorce were almost the same. They said, Dad was always nice to us, but he was always cold to Mom. No wonder she wants a divorce. My nephews had very mixed feelings towards it. That's right, of course. Wouldn't it be nice if their father had a single-minded love for them? There were many children in the world who suffer and cry because they don't have loving parents. But at the same time, it must have been very painful for them to see their mother neglected or coldly treated in front of their eyes. I'm sure they felt it more vividly as they grew up, if only when they were children. But there were times when my nephews thought they could handle it themselves, too. They wanted their father, who neglected their mother, to give her some attention. So they brought Ms. A to the center of the stage and did all kinds of other things. However, what they felt was their mother's alienation and his doting on them. And it was true that he really was not interested in Ms. A, or he saw her as unimportant, and that did not change. Also, since they are both boys, they must have felt that they had to protect their mother but they felt a bit of disgust or resignation toward the existence of their father, who treated their mother with disrespect. After all this, 
Last month, Ms. A left home with her children. My brother called me and complained. Would you leave your longtime husband so easily? That's why I hate women. Well, I do empathize with his frustration a bit, since he adored them so much, but I don't understand how he could deny the divorce when he doesn't admit his own fault at all. I'm surprised that he thinks they can stay married when his wife feels alienated. His sons know it, and he himself says he doesn't care about her. It's as if for my brother, marriage is not about connecting Ms. A and himself as husband and wife, but about him and his children as a family. I turned to my brother and said, I'm glad you're not living with that cold woman anymore. He yelled at me. My brother should think why my father, who is a sane man, scolded him and not Ms. A. The brother, left alone after Ms. A's departure, has not changed his way of thinking. On the contrary, his resentment towards Ms. A grew stronger day by day, and I was fed up with him taking out his anger on me and my parents who were around. When I said, but you didn't marry Ms. A, you just happened to choose Ms. A who had a child, right? He replied, I picked a woman with kids and married her. I shouldn't be the one to blame. You don't understand the meaning of marriage in the first place. Also, to my dad, he says, Why should I be blamed? The one who should be blamed is the one who left with the kids without permission. Then my parents reply, It's because you didn't think about her feelings at all. She's your wife before she's the mother of your children. You never listened to her, you excluded her from everything, and you should be grateful that she has been your wife for such a long time. You know what? You should take a better look at yourself before you say this and that to others. Well, my brother remains unchanged. I exchanged numbers with Ms. A because we were family until they got divorced. I thought maybe she already blocked me because she divorced my brother. But after that, I sent her a message saying, I was wondering how you and your sons are doing. How are you? I was surprised to see that she replied immediately. Apparently, Ms. A is living happily with her kids in a new apartment. I was relieved to hear that, although it was a little far from the office, both the older and younger kids took the initiative in doing housework and cooking, which was very helpful for her. She also sent me pictures of her sons, and they all had nice smiles on their faces. Then. Five years later, I heard that Ms. A is seeing another man. She said that she had two failed marriages, and she was not going to get married for a while, but she seemed to be very happy. My brother, on the other hand, has been taking out his hatred of Ms. A on our family for a long time since then, and my mother and father have become estranged from him. And then he somehow figured out that Ms. A is dating another person, and he said, You can't have my children! and got her address from one of Ms. A's acquaintances, and stormed into their house in a distant place. The police were called and he was arrested. I was a little horrified that my brother thought Miss A's sons were still his too, even though they were now grown up. My parents, Miss A's family and I, have no intention of having anything to do with my brother anymore. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you found it interesting, please like and subscribe and give us a comment. Stay tuned for the next video. How was today's video? If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Stay tuned for more.